We have different ways to assess the bleeding risk, but the most accepted uh, way up to now is to use the Hasblad score, which is very well known, and it has been proven in very broad series in Scandinavia, Denmark, Sweden, so it's validated and uh, it's accepted as, as the gold standard in this moment. We have um, identified different antidotes. We, we will have them very soon available for everybody. Uh, today, up to date, they, they are available only in, in investigational uh, purposes, but also uh, in very, very few weeks are going to be at the market in some countries. Now the action way is different. We have two families. One is an anti-10A inhibitor and the other, the other family is anti-2A. This is the bigger trend, the only one in this class. So the action mechanism is different. However, the clinical results are very good with both sides, with both strategies. Uh, some of the drugs have um, really improved safety, whereas others have improved safety and efficacy. In my opinion, there are slight differences between all these drugs, so you can choose um, for your patient, concrete patient, which of the drugs you would take. However, as a group, both families are excellent and have a great improvement over warfarin, which was our uh, gold standard during 50 years and has a lot of uh, clinical limitations that can be avoided with this uh, NOAX, with these new drugs. Unfortunately, this is um, what we are seeing that it's happening and we have not yet controlled. Um, uh, age is uh, a key factor for developing atrial fibrillation, so people are living longer and this is uh, just, just this point brings the prevalence of atrial fibrillation higher and higher. However, there are other factors that uh, also influence the pro probability to develop this illness as hypertension, um, which is also very linked to, uh, to age and, and to diet and several other genetic factors, inclusive in, in different countries. So the, uh, our prevision says that it's gonna increase. Preventive measures uh, should see the person as a whole, not only uh, treat the arrhythmia. If, for example, if a patient is a, an, uh, has hypertension, then you should, of course, prevent all this mechanism, this background mechanism that help for the development of atrial fibrillation. However, age uh, is, is, is impossible to prevent. Do guidelines for stroke prevention differ between Europe and America? In my opinion, not very much. There, it, it, there are some differences, but very, very uh, uh, small differences. And also there are differences in the, in the drugs approved or the, or the do dosages of drugs approved in different countries, but mainly are the same.